Still overseas now and temperature records across the United States are expected to be broken today as a dangerous heat wave sweeps across the country. Excessive heat warnings have been issued to tens of millions of Americans and it's forecast to get even hotter over the next couple of days. Sky's Mark Stone is across the story. Well, here in Washington, D.C., it is positively cool right now. It's just under 30 degrees. That's about 83 Fahrenheit. And that is cool compared to what we have been experiencing here over the course of the past week or so as this heat dome continues to hang over large parts of the United States. But temperatures here, well, they are nothing compared to the south. Phoenix, Arizona, has had some extraordinary temperatures. Through Sunday, it rose to 46 Celsius. That's 115 Fahrenheit. It'll rise to 47, forecasters think, by Monday. And it is the 16th consecutive day of temperatures being above 43 degrees Celsius. Over in California, the Moreno Valley, temperatures have been nudging 40, and wildfires there have burnt more than 7,600 acres of land already. Not far away, Death Valley sells itself as the lowest, driest, hottest place on Earth, and forecasters reckon the mercury could hit 54.4 degrees centigrade. That's more than 130 Fahrenheit. And it isn't just the heat. Large parts of the Northeast are under a flood warning uh, overnight on Saturday, several people were confirmed dead and more missing, including a baby in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, after flash floods there washed away their vehicles. And early this, this week, uh, in Vermont, in the far north, there was extraordinary levels of flash flooding, and forecasters are expecting that there will be more flash flooding, more excessive rainfall, and excessive thunderstorms, too, across the northeast. 63 million people in America, nearly a third of the population, and now living in areas where the heat levels are designated as dangerous. 83 major American cities have dangerous levels of heat through the weekend, and they will continue to well into the next week. And in all these places, it feels hotter than it actually is because of the heat index, the temperature combined with the humidity. It means that it can feel up to eight degrees hotter than the reality. And that, for many, many people, not just the elderly, not just the young, is really dangerous.